Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how to transfer a picture to wood using sublimation. So today I'm going to be using, um, these are, I believe they're called like Unisub, but they're plaques and these are from Condi and you can get it in cherry or black. And these are about five something, six dollars each, totally affordable. And you could do um, a word plaques if you wanted to. They've got the little spots here to hang them. So you can do it this way or you can do it this way. Now this is just a protective. This is just a protective film, um, and you, so you want to take this off before we press. Now I've already printed out two pictures. This is the same wedding couple that I used before. Different picture. This is their engagement um, that I used in the transfer wood before we use glue. Now this may not be something you want to get into if you don't do it all the time, but if this is something where you're doing it a lot, you may want to get into some sublimation. If you don't know what sublimation is. Check out some of my previous videos. I'll try to have some link below to kind of teach you a little bit about it. All right, so first um, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the heat press. So I've already got the press set to 400 for 120 seconds. So the first thing we're gonna do is peel off this protective coating. All right, so just like that, you're gonna get this nice white gloss. All right, and another shout out to Condi for sending us these to test out. So um, today I'm gonna be using the same Pro Spray I've been using from Condi. I'm gonna shake it really well. You can use this or you can use a tape. These are a lot better to use with this spray because it's gonna be hard to tape this down. There's no area to really tape that. So it's gonna be easier to spray this and then align it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna spray this off camera. You wanna hold it over your trash can. Once again, shake it really well. Hold it over your trash can um, or outside or over a box because you don't wanna get this adhesive all over everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this. All right, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this back. and Set this here and scoot this one out of our way. You wanna let it, once you spray it, you wanna let it sit there for just a second to let the sticky kinda get to where it needs to be. So what I'm gonna do, you could flip this over and try to line it, but I think it's gonna be easier for me to align this the other way. So I'm gonna scoot this over here. And you do have a little bit of wiggle room, so if you get it down and make sure that these are gonna be up. So see your head, I've got this up. Um, and this is their precious baby that they had. Her name is Callie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come on top, it's gonna be hard to tell, and I'm just gonna line this up really nice. Once you think you're pretty happy with it, you want to flip it over and really work that picture to make sure it's smooth. There's no bubbles or anything like that. So I'm just going to get that nice and smooth. All right, so let's go ahead and switch on over to the heat press. First thing I want to do is get a piece of parchment paper. Before I heat it up, before I got my heat press all hot, I went ahead and put the plaque in and tested the pressure and made sure that was going to shut good. You want medium pressure for this. 400 for 120 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and set this in here this way, making sure it's all the way on my mat. And then I'm going to cover it one more time with another piece of parchment paper. I'm going to scoot this in, and now I'm going to go ahead and shut it. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for about 120 seconds. As soon as it's done, we'll pop it open and bring it over here. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. All right, pull our paper back. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully go ahead and remove the picture, just like so. And I'm gonna bring it over here so you can see it better. All right, so you wanna be super careful with it because it's gonna be really hot. But there you have it. I mean, look at that gloss. You can see it's hard to see with the lighting in here. Look at that. I don't wanna hold it up because it's gonna be hot. So I really advise that you use some um, heat resistant gloves or some mittens for like you use for your oven. But there you have it. Look at how cute that is. The colors are awesome. Absolutely love it. So it's super cute. I'm going to give this as a gift to them for Mother's Day. I thought that would be super sweet. See how much easier that was? I didn't have to. And it's got a nice gloss and shine. I didn't have to leave it setting overnight. So if it's something, and like I said, these plaques are only five something. I mean, that's super affordable. So, um... 
and it would just make a really nice gift and I believe you could sell these for quite a bit of money so that's really cool so um I just recommend if it's something that you do more than just here and there you may want to invest into supplement making so I'm gonna go ahead and set this out of the way I want to do that again but this time I'm going to use our Cricut Easy Press so I'm gonna get down our Easy Press mat we want to put down a piece of parchment paper I parchment paper down but I'm gonna go ahead and set up my Easy Press and get my temperature going let me go ahead and let's prep our next one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We want to peel off this plastic coating. All right, so we got that. Now the same thing, I'm going to go ahead and spray this. I'm going to go ahead and spray the picture really quick. Go ahead and take that same Pro Spray and spray it again. Set that down. Once again, I'm going to let it set for just a second or two. And the thing about this Pro Spray, um, I'm really addicted to it the more and more I'm using it, especially when it comes to the Easy Press because you don't want to get that ghosting effect I've talked about previously, and this is really going to keep it super still. So, because I have a 9x9 nine nine Easy Press, and this is actually 8x10, so um, I'm going to be able to maybe slide my iron back and forth a little bit to get that even. Okay, so same thing, I'm going to hold it above and carefully get this down, making sure once again that this is up at the top. All right, now you got wiggle room so I can pick it back up and I can do it again. All I need to do, if you get some stuff like this, you just take some alcohol and get it wiped right off. Some alcohol on my um, microfiber wipe here, and I'm just going to go ahead and carefully wipe that off. It's going to give me a little bit of resistance at first because of the sticky, but it'll take that and the sticky off. So you want to make sure there's no nothing left. All right, so here we go again. I'm going to very carefully try to line this back up again. And you don't want to leave that because that would have pressed on there like that. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to try to come from the top to the bottom. Like so. Alright, so I think I'm going to be happy with it this time. Looks good. So once again, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to really rub that out, making sure I can lay it flat so I can really make sure there's no bubbles. Everything's super smooth. There we go. So we've got our paper down on top of our mat. We're going to put another piece because we want to protect our easy press. All right. So here we go. I know my image is between here and here. So we're going to try to hold it in there at 400 for 20 seconds. So I'm going to get that on. Normally you don't really, so all you really need to do is kind of hold it like this. Um, I'm going to hit go. But because this needs a little bit of a medium pressure, I'm going to go ahead and push down on it. So I'm just trying to make sure everything's on the board. And I'm just going to kind of hold it down. All right. So what we want to do is kind of check. So I'm going to lift that up. And I'm going to pull off our first parchment paper. And I'm just checking around. And I think I got everything. So I'm going to pick it up really quickly. And there it is. Look how good that is. So I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see. So I'm going to pull it up like this. I don't want to touch this because this is going to be hot. So I'm just going to pick up the paper. And you can see the gloss again with that light. Look at how cool that picture looks. I don't have to, it's on there. It's not going to come off whatsoever. I don't have to sit there and let the glue settle over 24 hours and rub it off. Um, it's on there. So there's a really nice picture and say you sold those for $30 a piece. Um, so it's definitely a nice investment for your booth or, you know, another option to do some as a gift. So like I said, I'm going to give this as an anniversary gift and the other one as a Mother's Day, Father's Day gift. I think it'd be super sweet, but look how cute that picture is. Now, I should have expanded it and gave it a little bit more of a bleed room all the way around. You can see where I lightly have a little bit of white, and that's where I should have had a little bit more of the picture, a little bit bigger to where it hung off the sides, so that way I got that, but you can hardly tell. So, and then we have a, a story with this bridge. A um, semi had actually went across it, 
and it only can hold so much weight and it actually destroyed this bridge so it's really cool to capture that as well i know that's kind of just but that recently just happened in our little town so um so there you have it i'm going to zoom it up really good so you guys can really see the detail on that hopefully you guys can see it. like it's really hard with that lighting really wants to pick it up but the picture the quality is just amazing i use the sawgrass sg 400 printer um, like I said, I'll have videos down below to talk about that. I got it from Heat Press Nation. Um, any of the blanks I'm using come from Condi. I highly recommend them. They have tons and tons to choose from. And then my Easy Press that I use today is the, the new mint one. This is I highly recommend the Easy Press too because it does go up to 400 and you need that when it comes to sublimating. And then the heat press that I'm using is the Craft Press Pro from Heat Press Nation. All of these things will be linked down below as well as the uh, Pro Spray. That will last you a long time. You can also use the heat tape. But like I said, with things like this, it's really hard to get that tape to hold down because it's going to come off the edges. So this stuff comes in handy. So you can see how easy I was able to fix a little smudge whenever I moved that and it didn't do anything. So let me bring the other one back up here really quick. All right, so there you have it. So I just put them on this little cloth here, which is from um, Chalk Couture that I use. You could use any towel, but I like this because it's really thick. But I've been using that to set these on to cool my um, sublimation stuff down. But just look how nice those came out. Like I said, way easier than having to use some glue and stuff. Um, I know that lighting's kind of hard to tell because it keeps wanting to hit it. But like I said, the quality of these, the vibrancy is just awesome. And you can't beat these plaques are super nice wood. And uh, for five something on Condi, you just can't beat it. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.